Hey guys, Dr. Dustin Judd here. Had a, had a great question yesterday. It's one I've gotten before, uh, but this lady was uh, in my office. She was actually the driver. She was just witnessing her first in-person adjustment. Uh, so the lady was older, she had to have a driver. The lady had been a patient of mine for a long time. I sound, I kind of see her sporadically, but she came in and the driver was like, hey, uh, as I'm adjusting this lady, she said, how can I do that myself? And uh, because I don't have a lot of money and uh, if I want to get cracked. So a lot to unpack in that question. I said, let me get it finished up here and I'll answer your question. And so I want to share with you guys the answers that I gave her. And so, um, she, uh, on more exploratory of her questions, she said, I see these guys on TikTok and they're showing people how to do this. Do you have any recommendations? And I'm like, well, first off, let's, let's just address, you can't do everything that's on TikTok. I see a lot of, usually it's PTs, they'll be uh, teaching people how to go over a foam roller or do the iron cross and try to you know manipulate their back. And I think those are the key differences. A lot of the people that probably need to be adjusted that are wanting to do something on the cheap, um, they probably can't do those moves anyway. So uh, that's the hard thing. And if their spine is in such a bad condition that they're trying to, for them to do it on their own, it's probably pretty remote. Uh, but there's the, a few other things inside of that too. First off, I don't have a problem with it. I think it's great. I think you should street, uh, stretch. I teach my own patients a lot of those stretches, piriformis, doing, you know, going back and forth, how to stretch their neck. And if you get a cavitation, if you get one of those audibles, not necessarily a bad thing. Where you run into trouble is when you're trying to force things to happen. So we'll also have a lot of people over here trying to crank on their neck or trying to make something happen. And that is the key difference is that's not an adjustment. I can't even adjust my own self because it's not specific. It's not well-intentioned. You can't really palpate and feel what you're doing and then go in behind that and actually do what you need to do done. That's why chiropractic exists uh, is so we can locate, analyze, and actually correct the ones that need to be moved. And oftentimes these people that are always doing this, you'll see them, they're doing it every 15, 20 minutes because yes, it, it releases endorphins when they cavitate the joint, but at the same time, um, you're creating hypermobility in the segment. And most of the time, they're not, even, they're not even manipulating the segment that actually needs to be manipulated. And I use that word intentionally because manipulation is the difference between an adjustment, adjustment is something specific. We're going after this one segment to move it or maybe multiple segments. Manipulation is just, you're hoping some shit happens when you do it and it either happens or it doesn't. And so the specificity is the difference between those two. So when you're just stretching and you're, you know, you can not manipulate your spine that way. Um, not a big deal if it goes on its own, you run into trouble when you force it. Um, the other thing inside of that is crack, I'm gonna go ahead and answer that. Uh, these joints do cavitate, they're synovia joints. They make sound when you do it. That's not always our intention, but a lot of times when you take a joint through its full range of motion, which is what you're after to, to increase the function and the full movement of that segment, yeah, you'll get into that paraphysiological joint space. The, the joint itself will gap just enough to allow the nitrogen gas to escape and you get sound. Not necessarily what we're after, we're after the full function of the joint. Uh, most of the time I see people that are doing this over and over and over again, they're just making their problem worse. They're creating hypermobility, they're creating unstable segments. And the ones, and what normally needs to happen, especially when it comes to the cervical spine, is that their spine's actually compressed. It's loaded uh, in a longitudinal direction versus a rotational issue. And so that's why they feel the necessity to keep doing it and doing it again, even though they're not even making any headway with it. So if you find yourself feeling like you need an adjustment or need to have something moved, Oftentimes, you probably need to find yourself a, a legitimate chiropractor that is going to probably take some x-rays. They should take x-rays, in my opinion. Uh, assess your spine. See what's moving, what's not. Address the segments that need to be moved. Leave the ones that are moving the heck alone. And uh, be specific. Be well-intentioned. Get some results. Get your issue resolved and move on life and have a happy life. Hope this, uh, this video is of value to you and finds you healthy. Much love. Dr. Judd, out.